の孤独に無の世界に全てを思うお前の目が見えてるこの世の全てを虚無見せてその先の力と自分の目をブリーチブレイブソウルズ Alrighty, what is going on, you guys? This is your boy, the Death Smasher, and I'm back with another showcase! And this time, it's on my favorite character of all time. Third anniversary, Old Giora, and he is back stronger than before, and we got ourselves a brand new remake. Of this character. You guys have no idea how happy I am to see this dude back. And the fact that he is right now the best speed character in the game speaks absolute volume because this guy does a lot of damage and he nukes hard, almost as good as the Thousand Year Blood War Yamamoto. And you guys want to know the best thing about this character? He is premium. You can pull him from tickets. If you choose to save up as many as you can, and if you get really, really, really lucky. So, <laughs> I feel stupidly happy about this. But, anyways, he has an Rocker slash Espada unit with Hollow and Espada Killer. Mine is 3 out of 5, and I maxed out the stats as I normally would. The Soul Trait is Strong Attack Recharge Time of minus 12%, and we got him T20. And in terms of bonus abilities, I gave him full stamina damage boost and weakened defense. So keep in mind, this unit has bombardment. So getting him weakened defense is gonna be good. But why? It doesn't make no sense. Why not give him long track? Oh, you don't need to because guess what? On his innate abilities, he already has sprinter plus two, long stride, and sharpshooter. So this guy. <laughs> what the hell, bro? He also has sharpshooter too, bro? He's gonna be able to nullify range resistance in the likes of Extreme Co op, even Transcendence Quests, and he can do just about any single s y n c o m m o n floor, whether or not enemies have ranged resistance, which is already really good. And going into the six star skills of this character, he will basically have Frenzy plus one, so pretty good. It does double the straw attack hits. He also has Debilitator, so basically, you know. Once he inflicts status elements, it's gonna last for a bit. Bombardment, making his soul bomb nuke really hard. He also has complete status immunity. It is a bit disappointing that he does not have shared complete status immunity because it would have been a lot better. Because let's say Ukior stands on a burning puddle, you would actually give your allies fire immunity for 10 seconds, and that is just really damn useful to have for your allies. But it is what it is, at the very least, he is immune to everything. Also has devastation of 40%, which is pretty freaking stupid. This is actually the first ever character to have both bombardment and devastation of 40%. Like, already we have seen this kind of thing with Thousand Year Blow War Byakuya and Yachiru, where they picked up devastation with the fact that they already have bombardment. So, seeing it on a summonable character and has frenzy. It makes me wonder how strong the Soul Bomb will be, especially when at 5 5, Max Transcended T20 and bringing him into guild quests, because that's gonna test out the actual stuff that he can do. He also has the 80% SP boost, so every time he procs a status element, he'll be able to boost up his total SP by 80%. Berserker of 40%, so 40% additional strong attack damage. Also has the new Aronka Resonance increased strong attack damage. The way of how this skill works is if in your team you have more than one Aronka, Ukior will gain additional strong attack damage. And right now at base, it's 10%. But in Epic Raids, imagine running this Ukiora and you have a full team of Grim Jowls. That strong attack damage goes from 10% up to 60%. Now, obviously, in co op content, you're gonna get it maxed up to 40%, but overall, it's still really good. He's gonna be able to hit like a truck even in epic raids. And then also has increased speed attribute or ronker damage to status element affected enemies. He has it of plus 40%, by the way. So basically, you'll be able to do 40% damage to weakened enemies and I think burning enemies simultaneously. I might be wrong about that. For those of you guys that can do the math better, I would like for you guys to correct me in the comment section below. And lastly, he also has Havoc of 20%. Bro, this is the skill that should have gone on the power character. And I was very upset 
when the power version got his resurrection and he only picked up strong attack recharge on the soul trait and on the skills strong attack damage but no havoc which is what he really needed well now this character is perfect honestly there's just nothing to say about this unit so the way of how we're going to be running him is that we're going to do the two classic builds the first being the hybrid sar sab setup and then Next is going to be the full, full stamina damage boost build. So already what we have set up from the start of the video is that we have a hybrid SAR SAD setup. So we have ourselves Kokuto, second anniversary Ichigo, whom are both max transcended T20 with 500 SP and then Senkaman Chad with level 10 SP. And the accessories, a spotted chair, pill, and the bait all with 30% SP. Unfortunately, I do not have a teacup for uh, speed or ronkers, so it is a shame, but we're still going to be able to pump out a lot of numbers regardless. And uh, yeah, overall, the Berserker is going to get bumped up to 101%, and we'll have the cooldown at 46%. So not too bad. This is basically what you would want to do for almost every single quest that you do, period except for guild quest anyways for this setup we're going to be doing two runs one will be in inheritance zone and the other will be in single player it unfortunately co-op it is non so we'll just go ahead and use that as base and with us we're also going to be taking a juice show because he can boost on the second tron attack so we're going to be getting a nice buff in okiora's focus and be able to get a lot more crits going on for him oh and the total sp that he has hold on uh, yeah, it's basically 4,441. Now, if I had the Oronkar Teacup, I could very well easily get it up to 5k. Unfortunately, I do not have that, but still 4k is nothing to sleep on. So, uh, yeah, that's all you guys really need to see. Let's just go ahead and get started, and woo, we have Killer here, let's go! And now, before we jump into the damage, the kit that he has, he has a 3k length beam, the same one as 6th Anniversary Aizen, so you can never go wrong with that. The SA2 is a brand new type of strong attack. It is the 750 AoE in front, but upon activation also spawns in a homing vortex that will track enemy mobs and attack them. And then the third strong attack is full screen. Oh, look at that, 57k. <laughs> That's good, hold on. Yeah, 53k. And uh, yeah, other than that, his kit is really good. It's damn amazing it's perfect honestly there's just no complaints i have to give to this character however there is just one minor thing i have to say when you use his sa2 you do stay stuck for a bit like basically it acts like as if you're activating a vortex which in my opinion isn't the ideal kind of situation because let's say you run him into epic raids if you activate the second strong attack when the boss is about to hit you you're gonna get hit you don't have invincibility frames like you do in single player quests and in co-op. So in my opinion, it is quite dangerous. And the fact that he has a slightly delayed activation time on his SA1. That being said, it is nowhere near as bad as Mind Noel's SA1, where it would have like a second or two of a delayed activation time. Here, instead, we're talking about just a couple microseconds and then it activates instantly with ease. So thankfully, it's not as problematic as people would make it be. Anyways, uh, SA2, 41k. All without the boost, by the way. Are there any hollows? No hollows. Damn. Yeah, we're gonna have to showcase the damage numbers again for sure. Okay, let's try to get the 80% SP buff to activate first, because that's what I need. But like, as you guys can see, he does around 30k base damage, which is pretty good. Okay, there we go, 80% SP. Yeah, he does 41k on the SA2, as you guys saw. 59k on the SA1, as you guys saw. And 56k. All without the boost, but now let's boost up uh, with uh, Jushir. Actually, wait, hold on. The first thing I want to do is wait for it to run out. There we go. Now let's try to get it procced in again. Okay, that was fast. Now, wait for the Vortex to go away. Kill some mobs. There's a hollow. Let's boost up. 64k on that SA1. Nice. That's what you like to see for sure. 68k and 32k. Wait, no. That can't be it. But keep in mind, Okiora has kill against Espada, so here's how much he's gonna do. Boom. <laughs> that is just so freaking stupid. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna showcase that small little damage number again with the SA2 with the boost and 80% SP boost and all. Yeah, 46k. So yeah, the damage numbers, they're fantastic. 
Also, guys, don't you think it's funny that none of these Ukiyoras have any form of Soul Reaper Killer? <laughs> I mean, technically, Segunda Tapa has Captain Killer, but realistically speaking, Ukiyora has never fought a Captain. Just saying. Same setup as always, nothing has been changed. And unfortunately, we do not have Killer here, but honestly, it really doesn't matter because 80% SP buff. Oh, really? There's underground mobs too? Oh, that's going to be pretty freaking annoying. But yeah, as you guys see, Okiara can actually do the job in IT once he gets the 80% SP buff to proc. And with the fact that he has the homing vortex, it's going to be helping out a lot in his favor. Like, he's doing good damage numbers despite not even having a shred of killer here. So that's good. That's very good. Pleasantly good, actually. Just gonna boost up with Jushiro. Yeah, because there you guys go. 10k. Boom, boom, boom. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, what the hell? That was just stupid. And I messed with that SA3. But you guys get the point. Like, Ukiar just does really good in 19, regardless. Now, in my opinion, I'll say this. I don't think that Okiora is going to be better than Uru in terms of overall damage and consistency and with how well he can proc status elements just because he has a consistent Frenzy plus 2 with 20% Berserker and the Berserker buff to speed units plus has the increased status element chance against all power mobs which unfortunately Okiora doesn't really have that but thankfully he does make it up with having a very versatile kit complete status immunity and of course with the fact that he has a really good chance of proccing weakening with that vortex getting the 80 percent sp buff to then dish out a lot of damage numbers and one thing to take into consideration ukiyora will almost never need attention tie for when it comes to nuking because his soul bomb is really good lastly the complete full stamina damage boost build we have the Sinkamon aizen with level 10 sp halibel that is semi-max transcended level 10 sp with 250 sp on the sixth slot I'm still trying to get a better roll, but over time I'll get that to 500 SP, and then we're keeping the Chad because it's a full stam link and has level 10 SP. That being said, we're going to have a lot less SP. It's around 4,168, but this is basically the best that you're going to be able to do in terms of raw strength and damage numbers. But keep in mind, you're not going to have as many cooldowns. So yeah, I only have 24% as opposed from previously where I had 46%. So, let's get started. Alright, first I want to get the 80% SP buff, so give me a bit. Okay, there we go, we got the 80% SP buff. And you know what? I'm going to show it, case it directly with the boost, because I'm not wasting my time with it. Yeah, there we go, 51k. Any hollows? Oh wait, I lost the 80% SP buff. Seventy-seven K on that SA three, and sixty-four K. Lastly, yeah. <laughs> this guy is a freaking monster, man, and I love him. Boom, just like that. I can't wait to showcase him in harder content for sure. I'm gonna be putting out a Max Transcended showcase, and uh, I already had a fan of mine hit me up. So, yes, I will have a Max Transcended showcase for this character in the near future, in the coming days. So yeah, Ukiora is the best speed character in the game and is by far contender with being the best unit in the game right next to Thousand Year Blower Yamamoto in terms of how much value this guy has. Just the fact that he is able to nuke really hard, the fact that he has Sharpshooter, he has a really damn insane kit and he can zoom across the battlefield. It's good. It's really good. And dare say they made this version of Ukiora justice thank you guys for watching this video if you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to smash that like button share this video with your friends and family subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos next showcase to expect segunda etapa ukiora and i hope you guys look forward to that take care lads peace out